Welcome, welcome to Victory Outreach North Hollywood. Uh, thank you, those online. Um, thank you for tuning in. You guys may be seated. Okay. So, well, first and foremost, I just want to thank the Lord for being my personal Lord and Savior. Uh, second, I just want to thank you all for being here and uh, just taking your time. Um, and I just want to thank my pastor, my sister, uh, sister Crystal, and all my leaders uh, for always just showing the way and, and just teaching us, you know, and role modeling. And say, uh, last but not least, my wife and my kids. I just want to thank them as well for always encouraging me and always thinking I could do good better. <laughs> Amen? So the scripture I want to share with you to kickstart this message on is on John 16.33. So if you guys could please open up your Bible apps or your Bible. And if you guys could tell me amen, if you guys are there. Amen. For sure. Okay, thank you. So uh, it reads, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. So it's basically, just to say it in one just big word, trust. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord in everything that you do. Because he has, he's already overcame it. He has already conquered it. And because he's conquered it, it means you've conquered it. And you have to trust in him and allow him to do it. Amen? So at this time, you could please bow your heads and close your eyes as I pray in. Heavenly Father, I thank you just for this amazing night. I thank you for each and every one of my brothers and sisters here. Lord, I also just thank you for anointing my lips, anoint my words, anoint just the message right now, Father. And may you just touch someone, Father, pierce their heart, encourage them, challenge them, um, and just motivate them to do better, Father, and to, to be better, Lord. Um, and the ones that cannot make it, just bless them as well, Father. In your mighty Jesus' name, I pray, amen. amen. So my title for you tonight is, Do You Trust? See, a lot of us have a hard time trusting in the Lord. And why is that? Why do we have a hard time trusting the Lord? Probably because we've gotten backstabbed, betrayed, talked down to. You know, people talk behind our backs. Or just life has just done us wrong. So why is it so hard to trust our Lord when we have complete trust on people that we don't even know? Like the Starbucks lady to make your favorite drink and even a barber, you know, to, hook, to, to make you look nice when you want to come to church or you go on a date with your wife, so on and so forth, right? We trust them completely, right? We go, oh yeah, for sure, I got, I got my drink. I'm looking fly, I'm looking good. But we don't even trust them. Sometimes we don't even know their names. We just say, thank you, you have a good day. And we keep going, right? So why can't we do that with the Lord? Why can't we trust the Lord like that? You know? So, and it comes down to as well, trusting the Lord just not only with our lives, but with our finances. You know, a lot of us, we hold that in our pocket and, and we, we can't let that go. Why can't we let that go? You know, that's, that's, you let it go and, and tr you'll bless abundantly. So we just got to start learning how to trust and, and just like how we trust the Starbucks lady and the, the, the barber, we got to trust the Lord with our finances as well. Amen. So on Matthew 6, 25, and for the sake of time, I'll be reading it. It says, therefore, I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink nor about your body and what you will put on. And that, that, that one's heavy, you know? Because we, we want to do things our own way. We, we want to do things our own way. We want to just, man, I, we can't get it. Like, move out the way. Well, I'll do it. I'll do it. And it can't be like that, you know? It's like when, um, when you're in the kitchen and, and you're cooking up something, right? Or you're, making, you're, you're mixing something up like a cake, right? Cake batter. And... 
your kid, you know, wants to go in there. Or I remember when I was little and my grandma was making, I always wanted to dip my finger in there, you know. And, and what happens? You know what I mean? The Lord, he's mixing, he's mixing, he's mixing. And then we're too busy trying to stick our, our little hands in there, right? And what happens? He says, you know what? Then you do it then. You do it and, and, and let's see how it comes out. We're saying, okay, then we do it. We do it. And then what happens? It comes out, it starts looking a little limp when it comes out, you know what I mean? Or it just comes out all soggy or comes out too burnt, right? So that's how it is. We just got to say, boy, you know, the Lord's like, hold on. Trust me. Trust me. And I'll, I'll promise you this cake will come out perfect. Amen? So, and yes, people in the world have done us dirty. And they will keep on doing us dirty. That's just how the world is. We just can't expect people not to do us dirty. It's, it's rough out there, you know? You guys know, you guys came from the world as well. You know, how many times have you guys done people dirty? So um, that's why it's, it's, it's hard, you know? But as humans, it, it is hard to trust. But hasn't the Lord given us life? Hasn't he given us life, you know? Has, hasn't he given us a job, money? A family, freedom, has he not given us that, right? He's given us everything and anything that we have prayed for. When we come to the altars, what do we pray for? We pray for job, we pray for money, we pray for our family. You know, when we're going through a tough situation and we have court and stuff like that, because not all of us, you know, we some have a long past, you know, and, and, and we, so we pray for that, and what happens? You go to court, you know what? You're dismissed, you're gone, no probation, no parole, no nothing, right? And, or you got blessed with a good job, you know? Or your family comes, start, starts coming back, he starts restoring that for you, you know? So why is it so hard to trust God, to allow him to lead us, to say, okay, Lord, I'll do your plans, you know, I'll do yours. I won't do mine no more, but I'll do yours. You know, the perfect example, our pastor, the perfect example. He trusts the Lord so much that he's blessed. He's blessed. He got a family. He has a home. He has a church. He has, you know, he has VO family. He has people that love him, people that will do anything for him. But why? Because him and his family have put in so much trust and faith in the Lord that the Lord has done it. You know? The, he trusts the Lord that he's going to give him a mansion. And he will. He will. You know? He trusts that that Folex will become a Rolex. <laughs> Amen? Come on, somebody. You know? And I trust and I believe in him that he will do that for my pastor. He will bless him. You know? He will be abundantly blessed, him and his family. But see, I ain't no dummy. I ain't no dummy. I'm going to fall underneath that anointing as well, as my pastor has with Pastor Joe. And has Pastor, John, Pastor Joe's done with Pastor Sonny Sr. And what the Lord has done with Pastor Sonny Sr., you know? So I, I'm not, I'm not going to do all that, you know what I mean? I'm not going to be like, okay, Pastor, cool. That's good. You know what I mean? You're blessed. No, I'm going to fall right there with you, Pastor. What's up, man? You're going to shoot a little bit, man. Come on. You know, I want to be blessed, too. I want a mansion one day, you know? I want a Rolex, too, you know? I want everything you got, you know? But I have to trust as well as my pastor does, you know? So everything he does, everything that he has done, the sacrifices and everything he's done for everybody and himself and his family, I have to do. I have to have that faith. I have to have that trust. You know, you guys have to have that trust. You guys have to have that faith. You know, because it's hard. It's hard. Trust me. It's hard. You know, and you have to remember, you have to go back into the olden days, you know, when King David, before he was King David, he had, he trusted the Lord in a little rock, a little rock to take out, a, to take out Goliath. With the little rock, he trusted the Lord. Lord, I'm going to do your work, man. Boom. He slayed, the, he slayed the Goliath. He slayed the giant. Right? Noah. The Lord spoke to him. When he, do, he, he did that big old boat, you know? 
Moses. Moses, he, so he spoke to Moses, don't go back, get your people, get my people, right? And come, lead them, and I'll split the ocean for you. And what happened? He split it. Why? Because he trusted the Lord, right? He trusted the Lord on he's going to do that. And even Samson, he, man, Samson, he was, a, he was a beast, you know what I mean? He, he, did, he did his thing. But what happened, man? That's, this is, he's a perfect example. What happens when you lose your trust and you put your trust in something else? He trusted a woman, right? He trusted a woman, and look what happened. Chopped off his hair. He became weak. That's a perfect example. You know what I mean? Like, you have to do not lose trust in the Lord and always have your trust, you know, in him. And I, I just I want to speak on that 90K we got. Come on. That 90, we raised up. You guys, you guys raised up, but we have so much trust. That trust, you know, we broke the barriers. We broke our last record, you know. But again, pastor, he leaded the way because he trusted. He trusted. Now, let's go. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. First, it was 80K. We're like, all right. Oh, man, that's great. All right, next thing you know, we're going to do 90K. Oh, man, come on, somebody. All right. You know, we're over here spraying bullets. Like, man, okay, cool. Amen. But the trust, you know, and I was, I was willing. Like, All right, pastor, I, you're doing it. I'm going to do it because I trust you. I trust you because you trust the Lord. And if, because you trust the Lord, that means you're a man that's, that's faith. You know what I mean? That's willing to be trusted. And, and besides that, I trust the Lord, you know. All, all the finances and everything is for my kids and for my kids' kids and for my kids' kids and so on and so on and so on and so on. It's, I'm sowing seed and sowing seed because I want them to be blessed. And I trust the Lord that he will do that. I will trust the Lord that he will do that. That's crazy, you know. It's crazy. We could, we could trust a dope man, someone, you know that could give us a bad batch. And we trusted him so much with our money. Hey, take my watch, it's cool, take my watch. <laughs> Knowing that he couldn't, you know, you probably will never receive it back. You know, those, those nice kicks, those AJs, come on. You know, the Folex, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you, it's, it's we, but we trusted him and we never knew we were gonna get it back, you know? Like, don't trip, I, I got you. You know, even, you know, it's just, that's how it is. So why can't we get all that trust that we did with the dome man to the Lord? Why can't we transfer all that to the Lord? Like, Lord, here's my finances. Here's my wife. Here's my kids. Here's my life. Here's my life. I give it to you, Lord, and you do as you please. Because I trust you that much. But it's hard. Yes, it's hard. Because we, done, we got done dirty. It's hard. And, and Little by little, the, the Lord will show you. He will show us, you know, it's okay to trust me. It's okay to, to, to let go of that and to come on this side. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. If anything, I'm going to embrace you. If anything, I'm going to love you. If anything, I'm going to show you what it is to have a peaceful life with trust in it. Because you trust and love me so much. Amen. So with that, it's the scripture that I want to read is Psalms 910. And it goes, those who know your name will trust in you. For you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. That speaks with everything. That speaks my whole message just in one right there. Those who seek you, he'll never forsaken. Those who love him, he'll never forsake. Those who trust him will never forsake. Those who have faith in him, he will never forsake. Amen? Amen. So if the worship team could come up, please. And it's just, it's crazy because at a moment, I, I, I didn't know what to speak on because you know, it's a lot of things are going on, a lot of emotions and stuff like that, right? But then as I was sharing the word with a brother, it, it came, you know, trust. 
And, and it's trust is something that a, a lot, a lot, a lot of us don't speak on, right? Because it's a lot of hurt that comes with it, a lot of baggage that comes with it. But see, if we trust the Lord to get our baggage, to give Him, like, look, Lord, I trust you, and I give you all my baggage, I give you everything, I please, you know. And He goes, Son, I promise you, you will never have that baggage ever again in your life, right? Trust is hard because for me, an example, I lost my brother. And to trust the Lord after that was hard. It wasn't easy. Why? Because I was raised serving. No, I trusted you with I trust you with my family. So why take my brother? Why take the one that I love so much? But at the end, he's telling me, trust me, I did this for a reason. I did this for a reason. And behind the scenes, my brother was going through way too much that he wasn't telling us. See, I didn't know. None of us knew. But he knew. And I see that now, you know. I see that now as like, okay, okay, Lord, I know why you did that. And you've gained my trust back. You've gained my trust back. Amen. But it was a difficult, it was a difficult road right there. It was. I'm not gonna lie, it was. It, it's still hard sometimes, but it, I'm getting there, you know? At, at this moment, at this very moment, I, I wanna call, just call, come to the altars, man. Come to the altars if you feel like you need trust, if you feel you've been lacking trust, if you feel like you can't, you don't trust nobody, you, you, you feel that trust is hard, you know? And you want to get filled up with trust. Come to the altars. Make your way to the altars and cry out to the Lord. Cry out to the Lord and just, Lord, I trust you. I trust you right now.